Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, doing the radiator swap, the aluminum swap, and the WD, and there are some details. I wasn't even going to make a video, but I thought you guys need to know in case someone else wants to do this. So let me show you what we got. Alright, we got the, the aluminum radiator mounted up in this WD. Getting started on the brackets, but what I wanted to share, the threads in here, if you can see that, this is straight through. There's no flare in there. Hopefully the camera will pick that up like this one has. In the factory gauges, <clears throat> see that? It's got that taper that goes down that flare and it seats when you screw this up against it. And these don't have that. And this is a 5 8 by 18 thread is what that was. And luckily I had a little old bushing in here which was three eighths by hold on let me get this in the camera hopefully you can see that three eighths by 18 in npt which is national pipe thread that is what this was and i took a five eighths what did i do with it oh a five eighths die here 18 and I re-threaded this it was really easy to do with brass it would almost start in this they were real close but not enough and with brass, it's so soft, I just re-threaded this. But now, this goes in here. And you know, we can stick this in here now and actually run the factory gauge, which I wanted to keep, you know, through the hole there. But just kind of stick that down for now. But now it all works. Before, this thing would just bottom out and you could still take it, you know, straight in there. So we got that done. And also on these, huh, door shut. But anyway, you can see this gap on this skin. These radiator posts that come on this are a little bit tall. And there's probably 3 eighths, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths gap right here. And I had to cut the bottom. Let me see if we can get, hopefully you can see that. I cut a little square for that to go around. You're going to have to do that or you're going to have to cut these flush to set this down flush. But I really didn't want to do that because the bolts I had didn't go through there. And the factory radiator, hold on. What did I do with it? Buried in the mess in here somewhere. Uh... Hold on, bear with me, folks. I think it's back here. Let's take a stroll. I want to show you this, too. Yeah, here we go. This is the original one. It's pretty janky. But see, it's got the bolts built in. You just drop it in and put the nut on it. And, you know, this is not... This aluminum radiator is not a direct bolt in, and I had to re-thread these bottom ones too with a tap, a 9 16 thread, because that's some kind of goofy 14 millimeter. I got a 9 16 coarse in fine, and it was so close to what was in there, but it wouldn't quite start, so I took a 9 16 coarse thread and re-tapped it, which was real easy to do, but it's not directly bolt on. You're going to have to do a little bit of work, which you got a standard tap and die set. It's not bad. But why would you make something with a metric thread? I'm pretty sure it's a 14 millimeter, don't know thread pitch, but why would you put that on a 60 some year old American tractor that's all SAE and NPT thread? It's stupid. But I do like the radiator. It just had to be modified a little bit, but I'm just letting you know, if you're thinking about going this route, you're gonna have to, you know, change a few things, but it's not horrible, but rather than find out the way i did not knowing i'll let you know and save you some aggravation so we we're gaining but i'm gonna get this in and i'm just gonna do a quick and dirty video because i want to get this knocked out and i'm almost done but i'm gonna just put a washer under this and leave it it don't bother me and that'll bring it down some but it kind of leave an air gap under here too because it's it's sweating kind of bad right there because the water can't escape but you know, that'll kind of let it dry, and it don't bother me that bad. Like I said, I'll stick a washer under it, and it looks a little worse on the camera than it does in person. The gap ain't really all that bad. 
but like I said, this is not a direct bolt on, so beware of that. And I'm not done with this. I'll kind of make a quick and dirty video now. But I'm gonna put some more of this together and I'll turn the camera back on here in a minute or I might show you after I drive it out of here, but we'll get it all done and I'll see you here in a minute. So hang on. Hey everybody, uh, next day, bad news. I come back, went to fill the WD up with water. was gonna fill it up and uh, I've drained it, but the water pump's bad. There's a little old weep hole up under there and it just poured out of it. So I've got to order this. I'm gonna go ahead and order it and get it and get it fixed. So when that comes in, we'll I'll just go ahead and make a whole nother video of it coming out and we'll go run it and run some equipment and stuff with it. But it's so hot, I'm done today. Had enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and order that part and get it, but I'm gonna call this video. So I guess that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, don't cost nothing. Hit that bell when you do, and you'll get notified of all the upcoming videos, the WD videos, farming videos, build videos, all that good stuff. So, as always, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.